Welcome, welcome to From Soup to Tomatoes. And with the humidity the way it is lately, right? Uh, it's been kind of warm and muggy these days. So make sure you drink lots of water, all right? And exercise to the amount that you feel comfortable exercising today in this weather. So uh, what kind of goes with that is our breathing. So welcome and good morning from Soup to Tomatoes. Welcome. And uh, my name is Renee. I'm a registered nurse and personal trainer. And we're going to pay attention to our breathing today because the breathing tells us where we are physically. Like, are we uh, beyond our means or should we be cooling it down or speeding it up? So let's begin with a nice march and good posture. So shoulders back, chest out, feet hip width apart. And we're just going to start slow, taking deep, deep breaths in. And if you can, try breathing out of your nose. If you find that's not possible for you, then by all means, open your mouth to breathe. But we tend to retain more oxygen and use more muscles if we can begin to breathe out of our nose. So big deep breaths. Good job, good job. And then if you find that if you can breathe out of your nose, when the, when the workout gets more intense, you'll catch yourself opening your mouth to breathe and it will give you a clue as to where you are in terms of exertion. So think about breathing out of your nose as much as possible during the workout today, but big deep breaths. Fantastic. So we're going to do a V-step today. So we're going to go out wide, wide, come back, narrow, narrow. So I'm always leading with that same right leg for now, leading back with the same leg. So wide, and then narrow. V-step, right? You start off with a big uh, position to a narrow. That's it. We could add some arms to this. That might make it more fun. Nice wide arms, and then come back. Nice wide arms, and come back. Huh? A little bit fun. Good. Big deep breaths. It's all about breathing today. Right? You could go a little faster if you like. Out, out, in, in. Fantastic. Now let's do the other leg. So we want to think about leading with the opposite leg, our non-dominant leg. And then coming back with the non-dominant leg. So it's the same. This time let's go arms up and back. Arms up. But lead with that other leg if you catch yourself. Um, leading with your dominant leg, try to switch. Good. Because it will happen. It will happen. Woo! Good job. So if you were doing this seated, you would do exactly the same thing, right? Because that suits the tomatoes, you can do it standing or seated. Fantastic. Really stretch out. Let's do two more. Two more. Big steps. Stretching. Coming back. Stretching. Coming back, fantastic. So we're gonna take it to a sun pose, nice wide legs. Kind of goes with the weather these days, right? Mostly sunny. So you can start seated if you like, arms out, reaching out, big deep breaths. Or you can stand and make sure that you stay tall. So if you're looking at the floor, you're too far, you need to come back up. And then we inhale and reach up, up, up. Exhale, reach out. Woo, feels good already, yeah? Oh, those are nice sun poses. Big deep breaths. Two. Oh, yes. Three. Spread that sunshine. That's it. Four. Woo. Shoulders back, chest out. Big deep breath. Five. We only have five more to enjoy. How much can we enjoy them? Six. Good. Seven, so enjoy three more. Stretch those fingertips out. Inhale up, reach. Exhale down. Remember the breath? Did we lose our breath in here? Big deep breaths. Inhale up. Exhale, come down. One more. Inhale up, reach. Exhale, come down. Fantastic, fantastic. That warmed up our shoulders, yes? Let's take it to a little toe tap. Just one minute today, so it should be easy peasy, right? Feet hip width apart, just lifting our toes. 
And then we'll warm up the shoulders. So let's do both moves today. Shoulders back, chest out, inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. Good. And forward. I thought today we'd work like kind of on, on compound movements. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. Bring those elbows together. Woo. 30 more seconds to just enjoy this. Breathe, Woo. squeeze, and come together. Beautiful. Look at those beautiful elbows. Those are fantastic. Reach. Oh, I love it. Big deep breaths. So why do we do these? Because they're recommended by the Arthritis Society. So let's enjoy this last one. Fantastic. Let's just do a little calf press. So uh, let's do 10, 10, and 10 since we're doing compound movements today. So we'll start with both toes up and down. So if you're ever at home looking to do some calf presses, you may want to do them on your step, like have your toes on your steps, and then let your heel really sink down and stretch into that stretch is fantastic. Here we're kind of level to the ground so we don't get the deeper calf stretch. Four more. Three, two, and really enjoying this last one. Good, and if we didn't really get to enjoy it, we will now, right? So we're gonna lift one foot, active front toe here. So don't let it be passive, try to lift it up. Nice posture, and then we go up. One, two, enjoying three. You know, all you have to do is touch the chair, maybe. Four, five, six. We might as well finish it off with four more. Three more, enjoying two more. And last one, now we can feel it, right? The whole leg just gets alive and fantastic. Let's do it to the other side. So we have this nice flexed foot. And if we're doing it seated, same thing. And we're doing a calf press with the other one. Knee over ankle. One, two, so we're going for 10. Three, woo, four, those are beautiful. Five. Enjoy five more, four more, Woo. three, I love it, two, one more, one, fantastic. All right, let's march our legs out before we really get started. I'm going to throw this over there, there we go. Let's march one minute, and this is going to be part of our endurance boost today is marching for one minute and then a little bit of ab work. It'll be fantastic. Woo! Let's get those arms moving. So just a really basic little, little vigorous march, right? Shoulders back, chest out, think, think like a soldier, nice and tall. Woo! 20 more seconds, smiling, having fun. Perfect. Big deep breaths, remember, try to breathe in through the nose. See, I want to do it too. We're trained to breathe in through our nose, out through the mouth, and it uh, really uh, takes conscious effort not to do that, right? Especially as you start working out. Woo! Three, two, one, done. So all of the uh, resistance exercise is done with two dumbbells today. So we're going to grab our dumbbells. Take a drink if you want one. So both the dumbbells. I found my heavy dumbbells today. So I get to have the sevens instead. So we're going to do five deadlifts, five rows, and five kickbacks. So we're going to start off by the deadlift. So just five deadlifts. So bend those knees, work on your deadlift position, feet hip width apart. Shoulders back, chest out, yeah. And try to keep that neutral spine. Tuck the chin in, feel the hamstrings, and come up. Squeeze your bum. One. Good. 
Squeeze your bum to come up. Two. Let's really see if we get those shoulder blades back, chest out. Three. Are we still bending our knees as we go down? Kick the bum out. Four. One more. One more. Five. All right, now we're going to add the row. So we're going to do deadlift and row for five. So deadlift, palms facing each other, row. Bring them back, come all the way back up. Okay, four more like that, four more like that. Down, facing each other, row. Bring it back, come all the way back up. Two, squeeze your bum. Down, row. Bring it down, bring it back. Come all the way back up. Woo! All right, two more. Squeeze up. All right, one more, and then we're going to stay there. Here, row. Now we're going to do row, kick back. Stay in your deadlift position. Release the dumbbells down. Roll them up. Kick it back. Good. Three more like that. Lift the elbows up. Kick it back. Good. Shoulders back, chest out, row up. Kick back. Now we're going to do one more and end it with five more kickbacks. So five more kickbacks. One. Kick it back for two. Kick it back for three. Four. And one more. Five. Good. Bring it back down to your legs. Come all the way back up. So we just compounded the uh, movements, right? So we're going to do the same with the squat curl and press. So we're going to do five squats, feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward. I'm going to go just over my chair to make sure I follow the alignment and squeeze up. So five of those. Down, up, squeeze. Two. Down, up. Squeeze. Three. And why do we need these? Four. Because we go to the bathroom, right? Woo! Five. Next one, we add curl. So down, up, hammer curl. Yeah. So four more. Do you see where I'm going with this? Down, up. Just to get you uh, out of your groove, you know, do it a little different. It's the same, rep same 10 repetitions of each exercise, just placed in a different order. Yeah? Enjoying two more. Down, up, curl. Woo! One more, and you know it. Squeeze your bum, big deep breaths. Woo! And curl. Good. Now we're going to curl and press for five. Squeeze. And then back down here, reverse curl. Shoulders back, chest up, squeeze your bum, curl, and press. Woo! See, now you got it. The whole thing is going to be like this today. Okay, keep that in mind. Woo! That's it. I love it. I love it. And press. Let's enjoy one more. And then you know we end it with five presses. Yes. So we're going to stay right here. Bring it back to 90 degrees. Oh, we got four more. You do. I love it. Woo! Three more. Oh, you're all so quick. Woo! Two more. Two more. That's it. One more. Fantastic. And then bring it down. So the next one is going to be with the shoulder, but the same principles. Oh, I bet you can't wait, right? So shoulders back, chest out, palms out here, like me. And then we're going to lift for five. One. Two. And then I promise you, after this set, we'll put the waist down. Three. Yes. A uh, four. Oh, yes. Hold it back. One more. Five. Fantastic. Now we're going to add another one. So we're going to go to the side. 
and five to the front. Shoulders back, chest out to the side. Woo! Yeah, really nice. And to the front. Are you feeling these? Are you starting to feel the heat of your muscles? Woo! Yes. I know it. Compound movements. Do it each time. All right. Enjoy two more of this combination. Good. And forward. Let's enjoy this one even more. Woo! To the front and forward. All right. Now from here, shoulders back, chest out, squeeze your bum. Lift to the front. Good. And then elbows out, shoulders back, chest out, getting your deadlift and fly. Come back nice and tall to the front. Elbows out, shoulders back, chest out, fly. Good. And then three more like that to the front. Come back tall. Yeah, looks good. Elbows out first. Kick your bum back. Oh, that looks good, everyone. Looks good. All right, two more. Shoulders back, chest out. Squeeze your bum as you lift up. Yes. Good. Elbows out. Squeeze those back muscles. Good. Last one. Then we stay down there for those last five. So we make six of them. Shoulders back, chest out, elbows out. One. Five more. Two. Woo! Three. Four. One more. Squeeze. Five. Good job. Put those weights down. Take a drink. We do our cardio boost. Huh? Let's do a march one minute. This time we're going to go back and forth. Although we already kind of did that with the V step. Never hurts to do it extra. One minute. Woo! Good job. Good job. So we can do a lot of work on our backs, on our the backs of our bodies, all the way here to down here, right? You kind of feel that. But we have to get two exercises for our backs, for every one exercise for the front. So really important. That's why we do so much stuff for the back. Woo! Are you feeling it? Are you feeling fantastic? Woo! Good morning. 15 seconds. Let's move a little vigorously. Pay attention to our breathing. Big deep breaths. If you need to slow it down, though, please do. Take a drink if you need one. It is very warm out there. Good. Woo! Fantastic. Now for the curl. But this time, let's do it with our hands on our abs. Pay attention to the breathing. So inhale, tilt everything and open up that chest. Push your bum back. Exhale, bring your tailbone like you're tucking your tailbone under and curl your rib cage in. Feel your abs come in. Inhale, exhale, pull them in. Feel the muscles engage. A lot of people say, I can't feel the muscle. There's too much fat over it. If, if that's the case, dig your fingers in there. There's muscles in there. You just got to feel them. That's it. And I need you to feel them. So big deep breaths. Five more seconds. Five more seconds. Feel those abdominal muscles tighten up like a girdle. One more. Good. So now it's the side crunches. We got two options, right? We can do side bends. We can do the fart move. We're going to start with the side bend, but you know we're coming to the fart move. But if you don't like the fart move for some reason, the side bend is your option. Because look how one side is stretching, one side is crunching, and that's basically what the fart move does. We just get the hip to do it for us instead of the upper body, which I think is the the kind of therapeutic part of it. 
So inhaling up, aligning, exhaling over, reaching with the fingertips, keeping that alignment. Okay, enjoying 10 more seconds. This one, go at your own pace, right? Your breath di dictates how fast you go. Yeah, feel free to linger in that stretch. That's beautiful. Good. So that was uh, a crunch uh, uh, laterally as well as a regular crunch and then a little bit of marching. So we're going to do that whole set again five, five, and five with our dumbbells. So if you felt like your dumbbells were uh, challenging enough, then that's fine. If you want to get a heavier load, go ahead, or lighter, or just your own body weight. So we start with 10 deadlifts. Shoulders are back, chest is out, knees are soft, right? Because they're hinges. And we want to exhale. Elbows and knees are always kept with a slight bend. Squeeze, shoulders back, chest out. Exhale down, enjoy each one. Squeeze up, no need to rush to the next one. Savor this one. This one right here, feel the hamstrings. Inhale up, squeeze your bum. Squeeze your buttocks like there's a hundred dollar bill. See, I'm being uh, less frugal today and there's a hundred dollar bill in there. So you really need to squeeze those cheeks. Big deep breaths. Inhale up. Now we're adding the row. So we deadlift down, palms facing each other, row up, down, bring it back, squeeze your bum. Yes, you got it. Shoulders back, chest out, down, row up, release the dumbbells down, come back to your legs, come up. Every part is important. Yes. Bend those knees, kick the bum back. Palms facing each other, row up, feel those muscles, bring them down, bring them back, and up, two more, two more, shoulders back, chest out, kick your bum out, palms facing each other, row up and feel it, Woo! all right, come on, this is our last one like this, so we got to savor it, we got to savor it, down and row, and we're going to stay down here, we're going to release the dumbbells down, Roll them up and kick them back. Release the dumbbells down. Keep the shoulders back, chest out. Roll up. Kick back. Enjoy three more. Squeezing our backs with the elbows up. Kicking in our triceps out here. Good. Row. Kick back. Now five kickbacks. One. Hold it on the outside to make it harder. Two. Don't rush it. Three, savor it and breathe. Four, big deep breaths. Five, bring it back. Come back nice and tall. Shoulders back, chest out. Yes. Even if you're tired, keep that alignment. Feet hip width apart, shoulders back. Ten chair squats. Or just squeeze your bum. If you're not up for squats today, squeeze your bum so that you're still engaging those muscles we need to work. Two. Press into both feet. Don't let them leave the ground. Three, that's it. Woo! Four, squeeze the bum here. Woo! Five, next one, we add a curl. Down, up, curl. So good. Down, up, press into both feet now. Curls. Check out your knees. Make sure they're hip width apart and on top of your ankles. Lift up. Squeeze. Curl. Woo, I think we got two more. Squeeze and curl. One more and then we add the shoulder press. Squeeze. Curl. Now we do the curl. We got to do the curl again. Got to do the curl again. And then press up. So four more like that. So good. Control it. Control it. Elbows in. Shoulders back. Chest out. Curl. Are you all squeezing your bum? Are you keeping that $100 bill? Keep it safe. Don't let it fall. This is our chance. Woo! Squeeze those cheeks as you lift up. 
That's it. I think we have two more. Big deep breaths. <sighs> All right, one more, one more. But this one, this time we don't let it down. We just bring it to 90 degrees. Press up. Woo! Squeeze your bum still. Keep those abs in. Two. Oh, it's so good. Three. Big deep breaths now. Control the movement. Four. Enjoy this one the most. Five. So good. So good. Fantastic. All right. Remember this last one? You're ready, right? No curls. No curls. No, no. We're going to do some harder. Here we go. Shoulders back, chest out. Here. Yeah, that's way harder, right? Curls, wow, you could do that all day. Two. But these, ha. Ah, three. Only two more to enjoy, though. Squeeze your bum to get through it. Four. That's it. Big, big deep breaths. Five. Now we add the front part. So we go to the front. To the side. One. Oh, so good. To the front. Woo! Shoulders back, chest out, to the side. Two. Let's not rush it. Let's savor it and squeeze our buttocks. <laughs> good job. Woo! Pull those abs in. Two more. Two more. I like it. The tempo is good. Nice and slow. Momentum is not your friend. Good. All right, one more on each side. Here we go. Savor this last one. Woo! Here we go. Shoulders back, chest out. Good job. Good job. All right, we raise to the front and we fly. So shoulders back, chest out to the front. Elbows out. Shoulders back, chest out, deadlift, and fly. So if you were seated, you would look the same. You go here, and then under here, deadlift and fly. Got it? So shoulders back, chest out from the top, lift, elbows out, shoulders back, chest out, fly. All right, two more to savor, two more to savor. Up, elbows out, shoulders back, chest out, take your time, get in the right position for you. Good, we got one more, bring it back tall, shoulders back, chest out, facing each other, up. Okay, you know we stay down there for six this time. So fly, one, shoulders back, chest out, squeeze the upper back at the top of the movement, squeeze. Those are posture muscles. We need them. Two more. Two more. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze. Then bring it back to your legs. Come back tall for your alignment. Good job. Good job. Put those weights down. Take a drink. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating now. Compound movements. Do it every time. So you want to work your whole body, get a sweat on, you got to work your whole body. So doing, you know, bicep curls are great, but they're what's called isolation exercises, right? So a bicep curl will mostly just work your bicep and your wrist a little bit, but not really much else unless you're focused on squeezing your buttocks like I asked you to do. All right? So we got one minute of this. We're already into it, 15 seconds. You can crisscross or just step over. It's really your choice. I just like to do a uh, sideways movement for the side and inner and outer thighs, right? That's what we're working on, inner and outer thighs. Every single workout, we work inner and outer thighs in all kinds of ways. Woo! Good. We have 10 seconds left. Oh, yeah. Or crisscross. Woo! This is called grapevine. Grapevine. Everybody remember?
remember this, huh? Jazzercise, maybe. Good, that's good. Fantastic. As I promised, we should do the fart move, but your other option is to do the side crunch, okay? Or fart move. Yeah, there you go. Because I know some of you hate this move, I can tell. I can tell, I can see it in your face. So that's all right, that's all right. The point is that you're crunching one side and extending the other. Yeah. Woo! Love it. 30 more seconds. Or here, right? Or here. Or here. Whatever's going to work for you. All right? 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Big deep breaths. Woo! Looks good. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. And we haven't done a twist yet, so we should do it now. Shoulders back, chest out, gently twisting to one side, looking in that direction, or arms out, or arms here. This is the one that's recommended in the stand-up program. It's here. Because it's really about the rib cage. Think I'm pressed in here into my hips, into my feet, and I'm turning my rib cage. That's what we want to get here. Exhale over. Inhale tall. Exhale over. Inhale tall. Especially if you pause on the exhale. Notice it right here. You really get to feel it. Inhale. Exhale. Tall. Inhale. One more. Fantastic. Fantastic. And we haven't done this one yet. We have to do it at least once. We reach up and we do diagonal knee crunch. So that could be here. Right? One minute of that. So we're already in it. Ten seconds. Inhale, stretch, exhale, come in. Inhale, stretch, exhale, come in. Woo! Good job. Good job on all of you coming here to exercise, even in the summer. Because sometimes people think walking is enough, and walking is good. Walking is good. But it doesn't really do much to build muscle, right? Like it works your endurance. It kind of helps maintain. But it's basically always done in one field of movement, which is forward. Good. Done. Done. All right, I want to work rotator cuffs, right? So that's a smaller group of muscles. So you may want to use lighter weights, right? So, for instance, I was using seven pound weights. So I'm going to use five pounds to do my rotator cuffs. But even a light one, like one pound, three pounds, perfect. So shoulders back, chest out. We're going to do one-armed wood chopper, but with both arms today. So from this tall position or seated, okay, squeeze your bum. Take one arm out and then the other one. And then bring them back in one at a time. And then you got to start with the arm that's out. And then back. Good. So that's one. Out, out, in, in. Two. See? Two armed wood chopper. Woo! Three. I worked on my woodshed all weekend this weekend to fix it up because all the good wood was in the back. Four. And that's no good. I got to get to that good wood. Five, so we moved it around, shuffled it around, and now it's much better. Six, four more. Are we squeezing our bums? Are we smiling? Oh, yes. Good, three more. Breathing. Two more, two more. Are we feeling this? Oh, yes, right? 
One more. Stay bring this last one. Woo! And then down and down. Good job. Good job. So elbows together. We're going to just touch the dumbbells. See how the dumbbells are kind of around my belly button and not in my chest? Down by my belly button. Yeah, good. Keep the elbows tight and go out here. Here is where you feel it. And then back. One. Squeeze. Feel it. And two. Let's not rush it. Let's really savor it. Right here. Three. That's it. Big deep breaths. Four. I call this one saloon doors because that's what it reminds me of. Five. Good. And I remember it when I see that written on a piece of paper. Six. Saloon doors. Oh, yes, yes. Seven. Good. <laughs> Same with the wood chopper. That's what I write down. Eight. Woo! And nine. And ten. Let's review our wrist exercises. So we only have about three minutes left. So we're going to have a seat and we're going to review the wrist exercises. So the first one is the curl. We let the dumbbells go all the way to the fingertips and come up and then go down. All the way up, all the way down, trying only to use our fingers, right? Not to use the forearm at all. Well, the forearm is working, but you're not moving the forearm. So five more. So this is a curl because you're bringing it in towards you. Three or four. Let's say three now. Three, two, and one more, one more. One. Good. Let's flip it over to the other side. Take our wrist down, like our knuckles towards the ground, and then knuckles towards the ceiling. Knuckles towards the ground, knuckles towards the ceiling. It's much nicer with five pounds. Three, woo! Usually I use the sevens, four, quite intense, five, but this seems easy now. Six, seven, enjoying three more. Nine, one more, one more, and ten. Good. Now sideways arms. We're going to let the dumbbells go all the way one way, all the way the other. So this one's a little more gentle, too, but it's still working some little tendons and ligaments. Three, four, but it's generally more for range of motion. Five, remember, control it each direction. Seven, and eight. Two more. One more. Ten. Before we end the day today, we're all seated anyway. Let's take our arms behind us with the two dumbbells. Shoulders back, chest out, and just lift the arms away from us. You can tuck your chin in if you like. Down. Lift. Two. Very good. Notice where you feel this one. Three, especially if you hold it where it's hard, like here. Four, you're supposed to hold it like 15 seconds. Five, we'll just hold it for a count of two, let's say. Six, seven, woo, almost there. Eight, this is to repair shoulders. Nine, one more, ten. I had a client a long time ago that had a really sore shoulder all the time. And so we used to do that one all the time to try to, it was one of the exercises that was recommended in physiotherapy to help, uh, help shoulders get stronger. So we want to reach down towards our buttocks and then, or press your palms back. Good. And this time we're going to do the U. So we're coming down with our chin and just settle in there as you stretch back. And then take your chin gently to one side and then gently back down, gently to the other side. 
So like you're, you're just making a, a small U with the tip of your chin, let's say. Or tilting your head. One side, gently feel it, and then go down, and then the other side. Good. And then come back to center. Take it all the way back up. See if you can deepen this position. Reach back a little further. Take your ear to one shoulder. Gently breathe here. Big deep breath. And then back up and then to the other shoulder. And take a deep breath here. One more. Inhale up. So let's release it for one second, but we're going to try to take it a step further today. So you're going to take your hands back here and then really try to press your palms together. You know what I mean? Press as though you want to press those hands as tight together as you can. And then just gently lift, trying to open the chest. That's it. Two more deep breaths here. Really reach back, pressing the palms together and lifting gently. Good. And release. Good. Did you feel that? It's a deep stretch, right? Good job. Good job. So let's take one arm over and take it over to the side. Bring it forward. Pull it in. And then if you want to deepen this stretch, you can pull the other arm up. Pull both down. Yeah, that's it. Big deep breath here. Almost like you want to pull your shoulder blades down. Yes. That's really good that everybody can get their elbows together. Very good. Yeah, good. And then let's do the other side. So we're going to stretch out first. Then bring the other one out and forward. Good. And as long as you feel it here, you've got it. Or your upper back. Tighten up the elbows if that's available to you. And then bring both elbows down. But regardless, even if you're here, bring both elbows down. Same thing. Good. Big deep breath. Fantastic. And then hamstring. So we take one foot forward and flexed. Bend one leg or seated, your choice. And then press your chest forward. Tuck the chin in. Press the chest forward. Tuck the chin in. Press the chest forward. And then release the leg, the hands, and the head down. Hopefully you're next to your chair, and you can even balance on your chair a little bit. One more deep breath. Good. And then walk it up gently. Because you're in a deep stretch at that point. So if you were taking deep breaths, you might feel a little, um, I don't know, see spots a little bit. So make sure they take nice deep breaths in your stretch. Flex the foot if you're stretching. Press the chest forward. Tuck the chin in. Take a deep breath. Press the chest forward. Deep breath in. Press the chest forward. And then release the hands and the head down. Two more deep, deep breaths. Good. And then gently walk it up. Gently. Good job, good job. We got about a minute left. Let's do a quad stretch. And the quad stretch is a good opportunity to also open up our chests. So we want to open up the chest, pressing the leg into your hand. And press the hip forward, bringing the knees together. Or if you're seated, you're doing exactly the very good job. Same thing, though, about the chest. Good. Big deep breaths. Good. And one more. We'll turn it around on the other side. And that about does it for today. So I hope you have yourself a great day today. Remember to drink lots of water and rest if you need to, okay? Pay attention to your breathing. It will tell you how you're feeling. And whether you sweat or not will tell you if you're suffering from dehydration as well, right? If you stop sweating, not a good sign. So keep drinking water and rest when you need to. Find some shade, all right? Have a great day, and I'll see all of you on Wednesday. Good job, good job.